Tonight we bring you another story in our Stars in Stripes series where our producer Jason Ozenbaugh highlights local referees and officials from around our area. Tonight we hit the ice with Bill Himmel, an OHSAA and USA hockey official for the past 25 years that has skates on his feet for a, as long as he can remember. So it's an interesting story. This very facility right here, Rink 1, um, was the lone rink in the early 70s. I grew up in the neighborhood just north of here. And all the families, all the parents threw all, our whole neighborhood into hockey. The parents didn't know anything about it. And that's how I got into it. That was 47 years ago I've been playing playing hockey. How's it going? How you doing? How you doing? Good. I was coaching. Um, had a high level travel team. We were national qualifying team. And I'd be sitting there on the bench and try to figure out why the official was not in position to make the call. Now, opinions are one thing, but being in the right spot, just hustle. They're the only ones on the ice getting paid. And uh, so it frustrated me that they were trying to call an offside from the top of the circle, the red line, out of position. And so I said, I'm the type of personality that if I'm in a ridicule, I'm gonna get involved. And so I said, wanted to see what was so difficult. Don't get me wrong, the first year, it was a learning curve. You know, you think you know it all by playing and coaching. You step on the ice, it's a totally different game, totally different vantage point. But I love it. It's, uh, I tell people, they ask me all the time, you know, isn't it difficult and all that? I said, imagine you go to the gym and you get on the treadmill for an hour and you walk out with a paycheck. I said, I love to be on the ice. This, that's my going to the gym. You guys, good, good work. I have a 15 year old son and this might be one of the best things about officiating. He started officiating this year. And we've got skate together. We've done probably 10 games together and it's so much fun suiting up with him and hitting the ice. We've done some lower level games. We've done some house, but he actually, he's picked it up quite quickly being around me and seeing a lot of what's going on and through meetings. He attended some of the meetings with me when he was little. And I'm impressed. It's not long before he's going to surpass what I'm doing. 14 white, two minutes, tripping. Yeah, you try to have thick skin. You try not to have rabbit ears. Um, you know, I, I do a pretty good job, I think, of, you know, um, hiding things or not letting them sink in. But there's times where it gets to you, and you just try to do the best. Sometimes a coach or a player is yelling at you enough. It will take you out of your game at times, and then, then it's just a domino effect. So it, the key is try to let it roll off so you can keep going. No more out of you. All right, you want to watch it? Zip it. One of the best things that's happened to me as an official is BCSN. I love when my games that I'm doing are on television, because I go home and I'll watch it, and I scrutinize. I try to break down the film and say, was that a good call? Was that a bad call? Did I miss this? Did I miss that? Um, you know, I like to say I'm a student of the game and I always want to improve. I don't want my skills to go down or diminish. I want to be stronger. I want to do the highest level I can possibly do. Sticks down, hands out, move the puck. I've been coaching for 30 years. I've been officiating for 25. I've been playing for 47 and it keeps me young. You know, I can't imagine being out here with the kids. I know a lot of them. Um, you know, and it's fun. And some of them come up and say, hey, coach. I'm like, you can't say coach while I'm repping. Come on. You know, um, but it keeps me young. And that's what I love. Stars in Stripes is brought to you by Midas, where you'll find the expertise you need to take care of your car. From brakes to tires to oil and everything else, trust the Midas Touch. Now, Bill talked about how his son has gotten into officiating. Perhaps you're interested in becoming an official as well. For a couple of the sports, you can see on your screen contact information. Great way to stay involved in athletics is officiating, and we certainly know that we need officials to have athletics. Thanks again to Himmel and our producer, Jason Ozenbach, for putting that together. Now, Himmel is also a chapter founder and co-coordinator of Gliding Stars, an organization that uses sport of ice skating for physical, mental, and emotional growth for people with disabilities. The program brings people with and without disabilities together in a team-oriented environment. For more information, head over to glidingstars.org.